Okay, when did you last feel proud of winning a game? AI war can be that game. Your fleets are surrounded deep in enemy territory. Come out of nowhere, strike, and then disappear back to your own planets. But do not get cocky. Look, you're trying not to be noticed, and an easy target isn't always a smart target. The AI essentially plays a board game like Risk. You're playing a grand strategic RTS. Now, if the AI ever decides you're a big enough threat, you're dead. If you've played the first AI war, well, you already know all that. So what's new? Well, there's better performance, better networking, better multi-threading. We're adding modability. The graphics are better and they're in 3D, and yet they actually perform better. We're cleaning up the UI and making sure that you can tweak or mod it. We've even added technologies that let you customize your ships. The sense of scale is much larger. Isolated planets, well, they've now become solar systems. Lonely units, are, well, they're now squads. Smallish starships are now giant capital ships. You can also now choose to play as alien races. The Zenith and the Spire play quite differently from humans. The Spire, in particular, are Goliaths themselves. So the game flow really is entirely different. The actual AI itself was one of the biggest draws for the original game. It got attention on the front pages of Slashdot and Hacker News and Reddit. We've upgraded the AI even further since then. The original game was listed by Rock Paper Shotgun as one of the greatest strategy games of all time. This sequel, it's bigger, it's better, and it's definitely easier to understand. It retains all the depth and adds even more. We'd greatly appreciate any support you can give, whether that's by backing, click that big green button to the right there, or um, by spreading the word. Thank you from everyone at Arkham Games. And you are gone I've done it